I am Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today another After Effects tutorial. We will be looking on how to integrate our text into our footage in the background and what options we have to composite it a little bit better in. So let's open up After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and I have some footage here that I shot for a client. Uh, first of all, I will rotate it a little bit so it's straightened out and I'll scale it up. It's currently not color graded at all and yeah, uh, we're going to keep it as it is. Rotate it just a little bit more, there we go. And I'm just going to be um, pre-composing this. So what we're trying to do here is to integrate some text in the background, probably here on this wall, and just make it seem like it's actually there. So uh, the client wanted to get some words in the video on the original uh, way, in an original way, so um, that's what we're going to do right now. So uh, the rotation hasn't been done perfectly, but yeah, that being said, the first thing that you want to do, actually, if you have your original footage in front of you, is key out everything that moves. So uh, for example, this would be our people right here. For this example, it's not really necessary because we still have a lot of detail around our um, moving parts of our frame. So I won't be doing it, but if you do, um, and you have a close-up where you're seeing less background but more movement in the picture, you should mask it out, keyframe your mask over your whole um, timeline, subtract it so um, it's not in your frame anymore, so if you move your camera, um, the moving objects wouldn't appear in your frame, and then you should uh, go to layer, pre-compose, and move all the attributes into the new composition, and if you have done that uh, for that part, uh, you can go to Tracker and click on your footage on the previous comp, so the original comp, and then just uh, track the camera and wait it out. So what I mostly do is just uh, make it a detailed analysis right here under Advanced. I'll click on that and that way I'm a little bit more certain that uh, it will do a better job at tracking my footage. Alright, so the camera tracker will do a job to track your complete footage and we will see right here that the track went good. So um, if you have uh, keyed out your moving objects, you can then go back into that composition and just delete that mask or set it at none so uh, you don't get uh, a black cut here in your footage, but that wouldn't affect the tracker anymore. Um, but that's actually, I've already talked about that in a different tutorial, so that's why I'm not really covering it in this tutorial. But, okay, so we have our tracker. What I will do is just click right here and drag a circle like so. That way I'm certain that my track will be flat against the um, background. So I will right click and create a text and camera. And now you can see right here my text. I will click on my text, Control T on the keyboard to select my text, and then I can just scale it down so it's a little bit smaller. I'm going to move it. Currently using the font Bellabo, and I'm going to scale it uh, with Shift. There we go. Right here. I'm going to enter tolerated cinematics. and position it right over here. Let's see what we get. Okay, so the text sticks really nicely to the background. And there we go. What I'll do now is change my color a little bit. So I'll click on my text, go to Effect, Generate, Fill, and I will pick a fill color here of a darker spot in my frame, so uh, like shadow colors right here. And there we go. And then I will click T on the keyboard while my text is selected and just lower it to 85 or so so that the background comes through our text a little bit. Also, as you can see, my um, composition, well, my footage isn't really sharp, so I'll click on my text, go to uh, Effect Blur, and add a little bit of Gaussian Blur here. And then just increase that number until you think it fits uh, the footage here. I'm using my arrow keys uh, to dial my numbers in. There we go. I think this could actually work. Okay, so now we have our text kind of in integrated in our background. And actually, we can lower the opacity a little bit more. And there we go. 
maybe change the blurriness to seven, no, uh, well, it's six. Uh, okay, so let's pick six here. And right now I will duplicate my original file here and put that on top of my text. And what I'll, what I'll do here is actually uncheck it, also uncheck the audio, I don't need any audio here. But I will go frame by frame until I see that my ball almost hits my uh, text. And it's actually really cool if you have something moving in front of your text or in front of the object that you're trying to place into your scene because that's really going to give an idea of depth and it's going to sell the effect a little bit more because it's actually uh, integrating with something that's uh, passing in front of it. So I will try to key this ball out of um, well, my text. You have multiple ways of doing this. Um, what I found to be uh, nice um, is to click on, well, just shorten your composition wherever you want it to be and then um, for the rest it's going to be in front of our text. So go to the beginning of this composition's cut and go to the mask tool here and choose an ellipse tool. I'm going to drag out a circle like so and I will hold spacebar to actually move it into position right here and just try to get it as perfect as you can. Um, maybe double click and just scale it in here a little bit. And there we go. And now what we will do is click on our composition, go to tracker. And actually, while the mask is selected, you will see that your tracker changes. Right now, you can actually analyze the position, scale, and rotation. If we're going to do, um, well, let's do the position because it's not actually scaling um, and it's also not rotating. So we'll just uh, track the position here. Now we'll play forward and just try to look closely to your footage because right here we're also already seeing that it's uh, not really against our ball. So we're going back to the beginning and do it a little bit frame by frame here. I'm going to move this a little bit more to the right, uh, to the left, sorry. I'm going to move here fr a frame forward and I'll do it like this. I'll actually uncheck my, key, my text so I can concentrate on the ball and just do it frame by frame or hit play. And just keep an eye out here. Okay, there we go. So now we should have masked everything together. And if you take your time, so the more time you spend, of course, the better it will look. But if you're going to check this on and also the text, you will now see that our ball uh, comes in front of our text. We can zoom in here a little bit. And currently our mask is very sharp. So we can open up our mask uh, options here and just increase or feather a little bit. I will uncheck my mask so we don't see it here. I'm also going to increase the expansion just a bit. Now right here I will fit up to 100% and play this back. And currently we have our text tracked in the background. We lowered the opacity, added a little bit of blur to match it with our composition. And now we will actually um, key out or rotoscope our ball to become in front of our text. So this is um, pretty cool and immediately it gives the idea that the text is actually in the shot because of the moving part in front of it. So these are some really cool tricks to integrate something to your footage. And then finally if you're satisfied with the results uh, you can do a final grade on top of everything together so uh, it's nicely integrated. Uh, what I will do is just import a look is apply lumetri color apply this to an adjustment layer and then just go to creative and load a little bit so um, here I go now we'll import one like punch right here and we'll open that up and just toggle it down a little bit so we get a nice style on top of everything uh, so it's a little bit more contrasty and yeah there we go so and um, this was my tutorial for today hopefully you enjoyed it if you did give it a like also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our lists on our website or anything else um, we'll link that in the description um, so yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next one goodbye